This is section 24 of Mark Twain's Speeches. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Woman's Press Club by Mark Twain Read by John Greenman On October 27, 1900, the New York Woman's Press Club gave a tea in Carnegie Hall. Mr. Clemens was the guest of honor. If I were asked an opinion, I would call this an ungrammatical nation. There is no such thing as perfect grammar, and I don't always speak good grammar myself. But I have been foregathering for the past few days with professors of American universities, and I have heard them all say things like this. He don't like to do it. There was a stir. Oh, you'll hear that tonight if you listen, or he would have liked to have done it. You'll catch some educated American saying that. When these men take pen in hand, they write with as good grammar as any. But the moment they throw the pen aside, they throw grammatical morals aside with it. To illustrate the desirability and possibility of concentration, I must tell you a story of my little six-year-old daughter— the governess had been teaching her about the reindeer, and, as the custom was, she related it to the family. She reduced the history of that reindeer to two or three sentences when the governess could not have put it into a page. She said, The reindeer is a very swift animal. A reindeer once drew a sled four hundred miles in two hours. She appended the comment. This was regarded as extraordinary, and concluded, When that reindeer was done drawing that sled four hundred miles in two hours, it died. As a final instance of the force of limitations in the development of concentration, I must mention that beautiful creature Helen Keller, whom I have known for these many years. I am filled with the wonder of her knowledge, acquired because shut out from all distraction. If I could have been deaf, dumb, and blind, I also might have arrived at something. End of Woman's Press Club by Mark Twain Read by John Greenman